what brokers should know before. Wildfires, earthquakes, hurricanes. Why? We want them to be protected if they're purchasing. They definitely need to ask their mortgage broker ahead of time, give them the area that they want to purchase right. in. And insurance cost increases, particularly with states like Florida, California. There's a lot of little things that your mortgage broker can find out for you to find out the specifics. Good day to all our viewers and welcome back to AMG Market Digest. I'm your host, Nikita Vernadel. In today's episode, we delve into a critical issue impacting the mortgage industry and of course, homeowners alike the escalating costs of homeowners insurance. Recent findings show a near 19% increase in rates over the past year, with a staggering 55% rise since 2019. As mortgage brokers understanding this trends is crucial as they directly affect loan affordability, client advertisement, and market dynamics. Join us as we explore the root causes of this insurance hikes, their varied effects on different states, and what this all means to the mortgage process and housing affordability. Okay, good afternoon and welcome to the studio. Um, as always, pleasure having you here. That's your first time here. Uh, thank you for joining us today to for another um, ANG Market Digest. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. Could you please let our viewers know what's your position, first of all, in ANG Mortgage? So here with ANG Mortgage, I am the manager of the Underwriter One team the underwriter support team, and I also manage a small little sales team out in California. So I sort of wear a few hats. Wow, all right. For how long have you been actually been with us? I've been with you a little bit, four years or so. All right, and in the mortgage industry in general? Um, I got in the mortgage industry in 1975. That's a lot of experience. That's a lot of years. A lot. Yes. Wow, I'm getting <laughs> even more worried right now. <laughs> well, since you are the the manager of the underwriting one, uh, that's basically uh, the underwriters who would take care of the insurance, right? And not only that, but mostly it's insurance. Yes. Insurance conditions, right? Yeah. So that's actually our topic today. So we're going to cover um, the insurance rates and everything that actually we can talk about the insurance. Insurance rates are increasing over a year. Why? Well, I think the, the most logical answer to that question is just the natural disasters that we seem to be seeing all over the world. You know, we've had so many wildfires, earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, all of those things. And unfortunately, they've caused a lot of loss which I think equates to a lot of rising costs for the insurance companies. How do you think actually mortgage brokers uh, can like adjust to those changes and advise their borrowers with those changes? Well, I think for sure if they're purchasing, they definitely need to ask their mortgage broker ahead of time, give them the area that they want to purchase right. in. They need to know this down to the zip code because, you know, like we were looking at one the other day and the building for a condo itself was in a flood zone but the particular unit was only on the third floor, so it wasn't in the flood mm -hmm, zone. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of little things that your mortgage broker can find out for you to find out the specifics, um, to make sure that you're buying someplace that's affordable and that you're gonna, the insurance is not gonna be mm -hmm. the disqualifying factor, right, right. right? Even like, even with that story, like when the um, the property, like the apartment is on the third floor of the building, but we will still require that flood insurance. Well, right? the, it's a condo, so the master policy right. is gonna have it, but our particular unit didn't have to have additional because they they are not gonna be affected so much with it, so. Perfect. Yeah. Um, since you mentioned the, um, the regional part, basically, um, considering the regional uh, disparities in insurance cost increases, particularly with states like Florida, California, um, at the higher end, how can mortgage brokers in these areas better prepare their clients for added financial burden? Well, again, I think it goes back to communicate with your broker before you make a final decision if you're purchasing a property. And if you're refinancing, you're kind of stuck but at least shop around. Your mortgage broker is usually a great resource. They usually have two or three options of people that are in that industry and they'll help you to shop around. So I would highly encourage, get with the broker first, analyze the area. If you can make some adjustments to slightly where you're gonna purchase, that might save you some money and definitely use people that they have on their team because if they're like me, they've been in the business for a long time. So mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that maybe can help get better pricing than somebody else. So definitely use that as a resource. 
Speaking about the conditions that we basically post for the brokers, have you like do you remember any cases where the brokers like completely disagreed with the underwriter when it actually came to the the insurance condition, like a master policy, for example? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for like, I can see that like uh, going like to the closing, we have still like the underwear is one condition for the master insurance policy open. Is there a way to clear that condition faster? Like what brokers should know before uh, uploading the documents to that condition? We well, you know, it's funny you ask because I currently am trying to work with my team and um, our marketing department mm -hmm. to put together what I would say is um, kind of like those books you see such and such for dummies, you know, mm -hmm. like, like a cheat insurance, sheet. yeah, yep. like a cheat sheet, right? Because I think that it's so misunderstood. And so we are trying to come up with something that will make that easier. Mm -hmm. So ask me that next week or something that, that should be available. But I think just in general, you have to really know that we're looking to protect the borrower, right? Right. right. We're, we want them to be protected. Um, obviously, it's a, to our benefit for them to be protected mm -hmm. because we're going to hold the right. loan, but we want them to be protected. And so we are sticklers for all those details for a reason, not to be mean or overburdensome, but to make sure that they have the protection they need moving forward so that if something does happen to their home, that they're protected in that. That's the most important part I feel like for the borrower so they, they can feel safe with us yeah. and insurance will just take yeah, care and, of the rest. And I think a lot of times it's, you know, I might be an expert in this field, mm -hmm. but I don't know a whole lot about medicine, right? So I rely on my doctor. And I think a lot of times it's that the broker is not an insurance salesman, right, so exactly. they get frustrated, exactly. right? Exactly. So what I do encourage my team to do is if there is there's a barrier, I encourage them go straight to the insurance agent, and speak help the broker out. Right. Go to the and then I find that it clears it up pretty quickly. Because like yeah, I was also like thought about that like the brokers they're not insurance agents. Right. So they have like well they have an idea, but again they might not just know the details that the insurance agent like is trying to tell them, and that's that's where that basically leads us to the misunderstanding unfortunately. Yeah, they they are they are going to call the insurance company and say, we need insurance. Mm -hmm. But because they don't understand what we need, they right. don't communicate it, and then we go back and forth. So we try to take a lot of that out for the broker, and we just, my team calls them directly so that we can get everything we need. Perfect, that's even like easier for yeah. the broker, actually. Too. Yes. Wonderful. Regarding the predictions, uh, do you think that the rates for the insurance, like insurance costs basically will increase even more in 2025? You know, I think it depends on what happens, you know? Right. If, if global warming and all these things that people say are still happening, then I think that there's a good possibility. Um, I just always say to borrowers or to the brokers, do an annual checkup on your loan, right? Do an annual checkup, talk to your broker, figure out who they would contract with, with the rep recommendations that they have, mm -hmm. and then make sure every year that everything's on track, that you've got the best interest rate possible, best insurance possible, and that you're covered. Because right, right. some things change too. You'd be surprised. Sometimes we're looking at a refinance and somebody hasn't reviewed for a long time and their property is in a flood zone and they don't even know. So, you know, so just a good idea. Come review it with us every year and make sure that you have the best available. When it comes to the refinances, do we ask for another like updated insurance or we can still use the old one? We can use the old one, but we're going to make sure the coverage still covers what we need. Right. How, like, how did they get a loan? Uh, before with the stuff that actually like we think is really, really important and somehow they live without it. Well, I think a lot of it happens because they do get their loan previously. A lot of it we see on a refinance. I think is that a lot of the problems are the refinance because the logic is, well, if my other lender didn't ask for yeah. it, the people before you didn't ask for it, yeah. why, why are you, you asking for why it? Why are you exactly. asking? But a lot of it is just because people don't always, when they're they're making their payments and the servicer on the mm -hmm. loan, they don't go back and look at everything. They just get the renewal in the mail, renewal in the mail, and right. the insurance agent doesn't do the mortgage checkup every year, so people just fall behind. Cost of construction has gone up, right? So we one of the big things on insurance is replacement costs that we ask for. We wanna know that we're gonna have replacement costs, and especially after COVID, building costs went up. So, But people, right, I think, right, in general, right. though, they appreciate it. Once they understand, they appreciate it. So that's like the most important part. And like when you actually give um, the broker like 
detailed explanation of right. the, like how the basic the insurance works, even though we are not the insurance agents. Sure. But once they understand that, it was like, now I got it. Now, thank you very much. So like upcoming deal is going to be way easier to do because like right now I understand what you guys require and it actually makes it like more simple. Yeah. And it's what's best for their client. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I always, I always say we might, I tell this to people all the time. I go, you might be mad at us now, but if there's ever a loss, you will love us because we are right. going to make sure that you're insured. Right. Exactly. And you never know. Like, yeah. That's like how insurance actually works. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. And how horrible would it be that you have paid all this money and then it didn't do what you needed it to do? Right, exactly. It's yeah. been like all of your time, like yeah. uh, most of your money to get um, a loan. Earthquake basically ruined that, yeah. unfortunately. I don't want to happen, but yeah. you never know. But it's good. So that's those are why we take the detail, the attention to the detail that we do to make sure that they are properly insured. Wonderful. Okay, that was a... Pretty sure it was actually pretty detailed. Uh, thank you very much for uh, putting some light on the insurance and the underways in one condition. Um, I hope I'm gonna see you next time for sure. I hope so too, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much, thank you. That wraps up today's insightful discussion on ANG Market Digest. As mortgage brokers staying informed about the dynamics of homeowners insurance is imperative for guiding our clients through the complexities of home buying and financing. I'm Nikita Vernup and I thank you for tuning in. Ensure you stay ahead of the curve by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications for our YouTube channel. We're here to provide you with the knowledge you need to empower your clients and navigate the ever-changing mortgage industry. See you in the next episode where we'll uncover more essential trends and tips for mortgage.